a man with perfection, with the ala hulukil azim. And we know what ala does, it is the it comes to prove something upon something here. And Allah Sallallahu was given the best of it. He was covered with perfection. With all of this, the Prophet Sallallahu left an example. After seeing the perfect person and knowing his life, after all of this, we still idolize someone else. This is something wrong in our faith and our future. It is the responsibility of the guardians of the Arsh and the children of the children of our community in any community that we give them the tools and the education basis where our children recognize what Islam is and learn the love of the Prophet and learn the Quran, learn this deen. Anywhere we are, we have to make sure we give our children an opportunity. If you never picked up a basketball and tried to shoot a bucket, you can't say you're a failure.
I will stand for them. I will speak for them. I will be their lawyer. I will be their judge. I will plead to Allah. And on the day of judgment, the flag of the praise of Allah will be in my hand. And I will be the leader of mankind, all the children of Adam. And I have no pride in this. This is the Prophet ﷺ. But to recognize the life of the Prophet ﷺ, we understand there are two things which, which contradict in statement. One is, he was mutawasir al-ahzan. Mutawasir al-ahzan. He was always worried. He was always in, in, in thought. Tawir al-fikr. He was always in this worrying mode of what will happen to my ummah. What will happen to the ummah. But coupled with that, simultaneously, he was mutabassima. He was always smiling. How do you couple these two things into a personality? It is very difficult to even put your head around a statement. Forget practice this ideology. The Prophet ﷺ was a person who was always concerned, always worried, always you know, thinking and thought, but at the same time he was also smiling. Jalil ibn Abdullah al Badri says, anytime I met the Prophet ﷺ, whether he was at his house or in the masjid, during the day, during the night, I always saw him smiling. Jabir says, Ma illa Every time I saw the Prophet, he was smiling. How do you say that? How do you justify? And this is something that we have to understand the softness and the calmness. And sometimes we fear the more pious you become, the greater of a scholar you become, the more strict you have to become. The more, you know, you can't smile, you can't laugh. You know, Hasman Filinin. Part of a belief is to be, you know, to be. A person who's firm on his religion, but at the same time, he is not someone that's enforcing his personality or his opinion. Has manfi lean, also with a soft attitude. That, you know, Imam Sha'abi rahimahullah was a, a very, he had a personality that was very humorous. And Imam Sha'abi rahimahullah was uh, the great tabi'i, mufassir, muhaddith. You know, people came to him and they said, you know, we find you always, you know, joking, you know, saying things that make people laugh. He says, لَوْلَا الْبِزَحْ لَمُتْنَا بِدِلْخَمْ if there was no such thing as humor, we would die out of stress. You know, the Prophet ﷺ had humor. He, somebody came to Imam Sha'bi, he was sitting with his wife, and he said, Who from you are Sha'bi? He pointed at his wife. Somebody came to Imam Sha'bi, he says, Who is the wife of Iblis? So Imam Sha'bi says, هذا العروس ما شهدتو. This wedding I never went to. You know, just think, he was a person with humor in him. He would take Imam Imam Ibn Sareen in the streets of Basra, in the middle of the hot day of Iraq, he would go in the streets and say salam to them, make them feel good. He would joke with them. Personality. And because of this, the world around Basra will come to his gatherings. The Prophet was the same at the same, at the same personality. If with all the aspects and all the qualities the Prophet had, with all respect to Rasulullah, Allah says to Rasulullah, if you did not have one of these qualities that I gave you, people will run away from you. You are a prophet. Wahi comes to you. You have, you have, you look good. You have long hair. You have beautiful eyes. You're from the best of them. Hasaban, what hasaban? You come from Quraysh. You know Arabic. You are the best person from every aspect and every angle. But if you do not possess one of the qualities that I have given you, even with all these benefit qualities and all these things that you are attached to, people will still run away from you. وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيظَ الْقَلْبِ لَنْ تَضْضُمْ الْحَوْلِ if you are not soft, if you are not warm in welcoming people, you did not have the softness and the passiveness and forgivingness inside of you, people will run away from you. With all due respect and other qualities, Allah is calling Rasulullah If you are rough, you know, a person with aggression, aggression, People will run away from you. And this was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa People will do wrong to him. Muslims and non-Muslims. But he will go on and return them and forgive them. And as you know, the Malik has this famous hadith of Bukhari in Muslim. He said, I served the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ten years. Ten years. He never scolded me. He never said, why not? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do this? He never said that. And I made mistakes. Khadrat Rasulullah said, Ashra Sineen, our, our co-workers at our office, they do everything perfect during the week. On the last day of the month, they do one mistake. I knew I should have hired someone else. 
I knew I should hire someone else. What could you do? I asked you to do one more thing right away. Right away. And this is what Umar anhu wrote to the governors of Sham. Say, Allah gave birth to, to uh, Egypt. Allah gave birth to people free and you make them slaves? You think Abdullah bin Amr al-As, he told him this. People were born Ahrar and you prisoned them? So Rasulullah said, I served for so 10 years. And then he says, وَمَا مَسَسْتُ جِبَاجًا وَلَا حَرِيرًا أَلْيَنَ مِنْ كَفِّ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ I did not touch any silk or any soft cloth softer than the palms of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم وَمَا شَرَمْتُ رَاحِيَةً أَطْيَبَ مَنْ رَاحِيَةِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ I did not smell any fragrance more beautiful than the fragrance of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم What beautiful character, just imagine وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ A man with perfection وَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ And we know what عَلَى does, the istila, it comes to prove something upon something here and Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم was given the best of he was covered with perfection. With all of this, the Prophet ﷺ left an example. After seeing the perfect person and knowing his life, after all of this, we still idolize someone else. This is something wrong in our faith and our future. After recognizing the perfect human, his lifestyle, who he was, even then we idolize someone else. There's something wrong with us, not with the Prophet ﷺ. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the Prophet ﷺ in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he chose the Qabail of, of Ismail. In the law of Bani Ismail, Kinana. From Bani Ismail, he chose the tribe of Kinana. From Amin Kinana, but Quraysh. Then from Quraysh, Bani Hashim. And from Bani Hashim, I come. I am the best. Anfusuhum baytan wa nafsan. I come from the best house and the best of lineages. I am the best person from all the tribes of the Arabs with the best of all character. If it wasn't for any signs of Nabuwa, if Abdullah ibn Rawaha says, لَوْ لَمْ تَكُلْ لَهُ آيَةٌ مُبَيَّنَ لَكَانَ مَنْظَرَهُ يُنَبِّهُكَ بِالْخَوْءِ If he had no signs of prophethood, just the fact that his face cannot be a face of a liar tells you this is a true prophet. Never spoke a lie before prophethood, never did he after. The perfect person that came, the Prophet ﷺ was praised in the previous books. In the tafsir of this ayah, Ibn Kathir writes, Ya ayyu wa nabiyu inna arsalna ka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadheeran wa da'iyan ila Allahi bi idnihi wa sirajan munira. Allah called one of his prophets, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala da'a nabiyan min anbiya, yuqalahum sha'ya. Allah called one of his prophets whose name was sha'ya. And he said, Ya sha'ya, inni muntakun lisanika bi wahyin. I am going to reveal revelation to you on, and I want you to speak this revelation as I'm revealing this revelation to you. I want you to tell the people of Bani Israel what I'm telling you. I'm going to send a prophet who is illiterate. Didn't know to read or write. أُمِّيًّا مِنَ الْأُمِّيِّينَ لَيْسَ بِفَضٍ وَلَا غَلِيظٍ وَلَا سَخَّاطٍ فِي الْأَسْوَاءِ He is not rough. He is not aggressive. He does not raise his voice in the markets. لَوْ يَمُرُّ إِلَى جَنْبِ السِّرَاجِ لَنْ يُكْفِئُ مِنْ سَكِينَاتِهِ If he was to walk next to a candle, the softness of his walk would not extinguish the fire. The way he would walk. إِلَا مَشَاءَتْ مَشَاءَتْ تَقَفُّهَنْ كَأَنَّمَا يَنْحَطُ مِنْ صَلَبٍ The hadith, and another hadith, he said, when Rasulullah says, I walked, he walked slowly and calmly. And he would walk with a swift at the same time. But it was like he was walking down a hill. Very humble. It literally looked like a master walking. وَلَوْ يَمْشِي عَلَى الْقَصْرِ لَمْ يَسْمِعُ مَنْ تَحْتَ قَدَمَيْهِ And if he was to walk on dry wood, dry wood, you would not hear his footsteps. We walk home at 11 o'clock at night. We want everyone to know in the house I walked in. For us who don't even have wood, we have tiles, we make sure the noise is heard. We make sure everybody knows. On dry wood, he would walk, and nobody would know he walked into the house. He was so soft. Then the Prophet ﷺ, then in the description of him, they said, I will give him the best of character. وَالتَّقْوَى ضَمِيرَهُ وَالْحِكْمَةَ مَنْتِقَهُ وَالصِّدْقَ وَالْوَفَاءَ تَبِعَتَهُ وَالْعَدْلُ سِيرَتَهُ وَالْهُدَى إِمَامَهُ وَالْإِسْلَامَ مِلَّتَهُ وَأَحْمَدْ إِسْمَهُ I will make tranquility his clothes. I will make taqwa his, his, his interior. I will make وَالْعَفْوَ وَالْمَعْرُوفَ خُلُقَهُ I will make forgiving and doing good his character. I will make justice his life وَالْعَدْلُ I will make justice his lifestyle. Islam will be his religion. And guidance will be his imam. And he will be the greatest person to 
كم من بعد اسمه أحمد وألفوا به قلوبهم because of him أعلموا به بعد الجهالة people will be ignorant I will give them knowledge through him وأرفعوا به بعد الخمالة people will be the lowest comes of the world I will give them respect through Muhammad وأرفعوا به بعد الخمالة I will raise them أعرفوا به بعد النكرة and no one will know these people I will be I will make the people of the Arabs of Quraysh in Mecca and Medina to recognize these people who are these people وَأَلِفُوا بِهِ بَيْنَ قُلُوبٍ مُتَشَكِّتًا وَهَوَاءٍ مُخْتَلِفًا People have different hearts, different mindsets, different ethnicities, different race, different styles of life. I will join him, but I will join the hearts of people through Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَةِ إِخْوَانًا Allah used the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. In another ayah, لَوْ أَنْفَقْتَ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا مَا أَلَّفْتَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِهِمْ If you spend the entire joined hearts of two people in one house, two sisters and two brothers, it's almost impossible sometimes. But the Prophet Wasallam joined the hearts of open enemies, the Yahud, the Nasara, the, the people of Makkah, these people who promised to kill Rasulullah Umar bin Khattab comes with a hanging sword to take the neck of the Prophet Sallallahu but Allah had written something else for him. He comes to the house of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Hamza says, Ya Rasulullah, Umar is here. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Hamza say, if he's come with good, we'll give him good, otherwise we'll give him bad evil. And Umar walks in, فَهَزَّهُ The Prophet Sallallahu shakes his shoulder. أَمَلْ لَانِ عُمَرْ Has it not time come? You understand the truth. He says, أَشْهَدُ وَاللَّهِ إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدٍ عَبْدُ الرَّهِ Such people who came with swords hanging around their neck by their character and the softness and the wisdom of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they became Muslims. Now Umar became Muslim, becomes a Muslim. فَكَبَّرَ النَّاسِ حَتَّى سَمِعَ مِنْ الْوَادِ الْمَدِينَةِ He, they said takbir so loud. They said takbir so loud. The valleys of Mecca heard Allahu Akbar echo. Then Jibreel descended. He said, oh, oh Muhammad, do you think the people of Mecca are just happy on the Islam of Umar? لَقَدْ إِسْتَبْشَرُ أَهْلُ السَّمَاءِ بِإِسْلَامِ عُمَرِ بِنْ خَطَّابِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ You are excited, but let me tell you the reality. The, the angels and the heavens are in a buzz. They're in excitement that this great man, Umar, has become Muslim. These people, Allah's Rasul joined their hearts. Not with a sword. Not with aggression. Not with force with passion, with forgiving, and this is the method that the Muslims have to adopt. Of course, we're not just passive, we're not going to let someone run over our house. There are rules, but at the same time, my brothers and sisters, this is ummah. And the narration keeps continues, I will give him the best of nations. He will be great, but I will give him the greatest of nations. We. إن الله اشترى من المؤمنين أنفسهم وأموالهم بأن لهم الجنة. They give everything. If Allah says I want it, they give it. They're ready for any cause of Allah. Their children. قل إن كان آباءكم وأبناءكم وإخوانكم وأزواجكم وعشيرتكم. They're ready to give anything for the sake of Allah. لا تجد قوم يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر يوادون من حاد الله رسول. ولو كان آباءهم أو أبناءهم أو إخوانهم أو عشيرتهم. It's a matter who comes in their way. They will give everything for the deen of Allah and the Rasul. These are the people. قِرْبَانُهُمْ دِمَاؤُهُمْ وَأَنَاجِيلُهُمْ فِي صُدُورِهِمْ And where? They will memorize the book of Allah. They will be hafaz of Qur'an. This ummah will be blessed with such people in the ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who would these people be? رَحْبَانٌ بِاللَّيْلِ وَلِيُوذٌ بِالنَّهَارِ Allah Akbar. They will be people of those who stand in tahajjur during the night. But they will be warriors. Not video gamers. No. Not people who sit in front of FIFA all night. No. لِيُوذٌ there will be people who will stand in front of the mighty Lord and during the day they will be warriors. This is why Ali Allah says when he came in the battle of Khibar, Anallahi Sammatni Ummi Haidara Kalaythi al Ghabat al Kareem al Mandar O Fihim Bissari Kayl al Santar. I am that person that my mother named me Haidar. The lion, the warrior. They were proud of Asad. Lion, lay. Not the type of Asad today who call themselves Asad and transgress and kill people. Na'udhu Billah. May Allah destroy those type of titans. Who do I mean? Not these type of people. They're the type of the Sahaba. Liyuthun bin Nahar. These were the people. A'azzu man nasarahum. Wa'ayyidu man da'alahum. Wa'ajala da'ilta sawala min khalaqahum. These 
These will be such people that whatever they do, I will support them. And if they are not doing it, whoever supports these people, Whoever makes dua for the pious of this ummah in this narration says, We will support them. And anyone that goes against these people, we will destroy them. This is Rasulullah. The perfect human from every aspect. When mankind will come on the day of judgment, even in this world, Rasulullah, he had so much worry. Like we talk about his worry. At the same time, he was always smiling. He had so much worry for his ummah at that time. And for the ummah that was to follow him after he died. Oh Muhammad, it is near that you're not going to kill yourself. You are torturing yourself in this hope that these people will become Muslim. Don't become stressed on their kufr. إِنَّهُمْ لَيْنَ يَضُرُّ اللَّهَ شَيْءٍ اللَّهُ رَوِيَ الْآيَةَ After آيَةَ طَاهَ مَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْقُرْآنِ تَشْقَى Don't overburden yourself. This is how much he was worried. And when the end of his life came, Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم, he read the آية of the Qur'an في سورة إبراهيم رَبِّ إِنَّهُمْ لَأَضْلَى لَكَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ Abdullah bin Amr Aas is the narrator of this hadith in Bukhari. He said, Oh Allah! He read this ayah, Ibrahim says, Rabbi inna hunna adhalla kathirun min nas. These idols have misguided some, so many. And if they misguide them, you throw them in, you, destroy, you deal with them in, with your honor and your respect and justice. Isa said, In tu'adhirun fa inna ma'ibad. Oh Allah, if you, just, if you punish them, then you're a slave. When taqfilam fa inna kanta al-azim hakeem. And if you do, if you forgive them, you're the one who's a aziz and hakeem. And when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam read these verses, fa baka, he started crying. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called Jibreel. Go to Muhammad and ask him what makes him cry. And Allah knows why he's crying. Ask him what is making him weep. What is making him restless? Ask him. And then the Prophet ﷺ replied, What is going to happen to my ummah after I die? What is going to happen to the children that we see today? To the adults that we look at today? What is going to happen? The miss salah. They only recognize the Prophet one month during the year. There is no such thing as only recognizing him one month during the year. Every day, every year, we celebrate the legacy of Rasulullah. We are not like the Christians. We are the believers. We recognize and remember Rasulullah every day of our life. Every single day of our life. What is going to happen to these people? The Prophet وسلم, was said this to Jibreel. He went to Allah. Allah informed Jibreel to tell Rasulullah Inna sanudika fi ummatika ya we will not displease you in the matter of your ummah and we will make sure Allah will please you on the day of judgment. This is why when mankind will be in stress when the sinners will call who's going to help us today? You know, who's going to help us today? You look around, you look left, you see your mother in sajda, you see your father crying. Everyone will run away from their relatives. Who will help? The sinners, the ones who drank, the ones who did haram. Who's gonna help us today? Hunaka Yaqum Ahmad Allah. Hunaka Yaqum Muhammad Sallu Ala Nabi. Hunaka Yaqum Ahmad Fi Yadayhi Liwa Bul Hamdi Mun Aqid al Rafiru. Here, Muhammad is gonna stand, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Here, when everyone will leave you and me, he will stand. Fayashfa'u. Fayashfa'u the Zumma Yashfa'u fil Baraya. Alayka Salam Rabbika Ya Shafi. He will fall in sajda and he will cry for this nation. Today, this nation has forgotten his legacy. Today, this nation has forgot the one that favored him the most after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We recognize everything in the world, we idolize everyone in the world, but we do we idolize Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa The day he came to Medina, Allah min hakulla shayt. And as Allah says, Lamma kana al-yawm al-ladhi dakhala fi Rasulullah al Medina. The day Rasulullah walked into Medina, the entire Medina was radiant. Lamma kana al-yawm al-ladhi mata fi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And the day the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam died, Allah min hakulla shayt. Everything became dark, and then we were in the grave, bearing 
رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وما نفضنا أيدينا من تراب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم we were burying the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and we were not even done dusting our hands حتى أنكرنا قلوبنا and we felt the weakness in our faith already we felt the distance that Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم has left us but my brothers and sisters in Islam he came 1400 years ago but his legacy will continue to the last soul that breathes on this land. His legacy will continue. We are not Muslim because my name is Muhammad. We are not Muslim because my name is Abdullah. Or my wife is Fatima and her sister is Khadija. No! Brothers and sisters, we are Muslims who live, who die. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us the true lovers of the Prophet the true followers of the Prophet May Allah instill into us in the lives, in the hearts of our children, the true love and loyalty for the Prophet الحمد لله الحمد لله نستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله أما بعد فقد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب العزيز بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما My brothers and sisters before we conclude this khutbah, it is the responsibility of the guardians of the arch and the children, of the children of our community, in any community, that we give them the tools and the education basis where our children recognize what Islam is and learn the love of the Prophet learn the Quran, learn this deen. And your facility, as you're from Flint, I'm from Flint, and from the different communities that we're from, whoever's watching this, Anywhere we are, we have to make sure we give our children an opportunity. If you never picked up a basketball and tried to shoot a bucket, you can't say you're a failure. If you never tried with your children, and then you say, I can't do nothing with my children, how am I going to make them successful? We have to try, and we have the facilities. Alhamdulillah, this community is blessed. We have activities Monday to Friday for Quran, for Hadith, for Ilm, what's fit for college level, high school level, kids in grade 6, 7, 8, or even younger ages, everything is provided. But do we have time? We have time for karate, we have time for swimming, we have time for piano lessons, we have time for everything. But do we have time for our children to remember this deen? And we try over and over, bringing programs. Remember, Allah doesn't care if you try or not. It is our responsibility to try our best. To make us hold their hands. Like we hold our hand and take them to soccer. And we see them score a goal. And the cheer that I get when my son scoring. Do we get the same when my son learns with Naba? Yes. I texted a family today whose son finished Baqara. It almost took him a cow to finish it. You know? So I, I texted him. I said, Alhamdulillah, Barakallah, you're lucky. I, I don't, cannot express how happy I was to see a child finish with Baqara. The tears are inside me, I can't express. Because in America, who does this? When all the temptations are wrong you, and your children are putting their knees on the ground, and really call Allah, call Rasul, itself, this is a miracle. Itself, is, and I appreciate the good that your children do, with hikmah and wisdom, bring them closer to Allah and His Rasul. May Allah protect our children, protect our, the adults, the women, Everyone in this community, in all communities of North America, Allah ma'izzat islam wal muslimin, Allah ma'afil jami'in muslimin wal muslimat, wal mu'min wal mu'minat, wal ahiyai min wal amwal, inna ka sami'u min tariqu mujibu al-da'wal, Allah ma'afil jami'in mardana, wa'afil min tlana, wa raham mawtana, inna ka haqqan ala kulli shayin qadir, Allah ma'afil muslimin fi al-sham, Allah ma'afil muslimin fi al-sham, khasatan ya rabbil alamin, Allah ma'afil muslimin fi بمصر يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر المسلمين في برما وفي سائر البلاد المسلمين وغير المسلمين يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم كن معهم اللهم كن غوثهم اللهم اللهم أرنا فيهم عجائب قدرتك يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم كن غوثهم يا رب العالمين اللهم استجب دعاءهم وتقبل شهداءهم يا رب العالمين اللهم نسلك العفو والعافية في الدنيا والآخرة في أهلنا وأموالنا وفي ديننا ودنيانا آمين 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 عباد الله رحمكم رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروني أذكر